Federal aid crews from across the country are on the ground in Florida ready to assist. And that includes teams from right here in southern New England. The night team's Aaron Coogan joins us live tonight from TF Green Airport. Aaron? Well, guys, in anticipation of travel delays and the extreme conditions tonight, all of the New England-based response teams say they left for their trek down south well in advance. And a good thing, too, we've been here at the airport all day watching this big board flash red, noting all the canceled flights into and out of Florida. You know, we prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Tonight, dozens of local New England volunteers now on the front lines facing what Florida officials say could be one of the most devastating displays of extreme weather the region has seen in years. We're lining up the next wave uh, of folks who will be uh, going down. Florida requested mutual aid from across the country to help deal with the expected devastation. So there are uh, task force from across the country as far out as California. Um, we were asked to send down a type three team and that's 45 members. Several Florida counties have also been placed under evacuation mandates. Members of the local New England chapters of the American Red Cross now assisting in immediate emergency sheltering assistance and with thousands flocking to those safe places. Not a lot of information coming back right now. Um, the severity of the storm is, is pretty well documented and we're responding to that, um, that need. Meanwhile, for Massachusetts Task Force One, a FEMA employed urban search and rescue group. They've made base camp in North Carolina. Their crews now on standby, bracing for any potential rescue operations reported throughout the region. Our task force is capable of um, water rescue, either swift water or still water, uh, collapse structure rescues, a wide area search, um, individual building searches. We have canines that are with us. Again, now limited by those travel restrictions. Any additional crews from New England are going to have to wait until the storm hits and passes before heading down to Florida. In TF Green Airport, Aaron Coogan, NBC 10 News.